Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5. Starting at number 5. Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus. It might not be the best of the bunch for Android tablets, but the Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus has a lot going for it thanks to its attractive 10. 1 inch display with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. That means it's ideal for watching your favorite movies or shows, especially as we also found that it manages around 12 hours of battery life, so you won't run out of juice at a pivotal moment. In our review, we were also fairly impressed with the speakers for the money, so this is a capable budget media machine. Storage is limited at either 32GB or 64GB and we'd like speedier performance in an ideal world as the chipset was a little bit dated even at launch, but at this price, it's not bad at all. Coming at number 4. Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. Samsung has long been ruling the high-end Android tablet world, but it now faces an unlikely challenger in the form of the Lenovo Tab P11 Pro. Lenovo isn't well known for Android tablets. But with the Tab P11 Pro it's delivered a real rival to the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. This slate has an 11. 5 inch 1600 by 2560 OLED screen, so it's big, sharp, and packs punchy OLED tech. It also supports HDR10, so we found it a joy to view content on, with the only slight letdown being its conventional 60Hz refresh rate. Coupled with loud quad speakers, the Lenovo Tab P11 Pro makes for an accomplished media machine, and with its long-lasting 8,600 mAh battery it's a great travel companion. At Number 3 Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus was at launch the best tablet Samsung had ever made, and it's still great now as well as being a serious rival to the iPad Pro range. In fact, its screen arguably has those slates beat, as it's a 12. 4-inch Super AMOLED 1 with a 2800 by 1752 resolution, and a 120 Hz refresh rate. The iPad Pro range can match much of that, but those slates have LCD screens, which aren't quite as good. We were seriously impressed with this screen. 7 mm thick, Number 2 of my list Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 The Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 is a bit different to most tablets, and that helps it stand out. While the slate works brilliantly as a conventional tablet, it also has a built-in stand, so you can prop it up without a case. And there's a micro HDMI port, so you can easily use it as a second screen for a laptop or other device. Two features which we found very useful. The Lenovo Yoga Tab 13 also has an enormous speaker by tablet standards, making it great for anything involving audio. Beyond that, you get a big 13-inch 1350 by 2160 screen, a moderately powerful Snapdragon 870 chipset, and a respectable amount of storage. What you don't get a Euro, in another unusual move a Euro, is a rear camera, but then tablets are never ideal for taking photos anyway and we also found the design made it hard to use with a case. Still, if a kickstand or micro HDMI are important to you then this is the Android tablet to get. And number 1. Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. The display is crisp at 1848 by 2960 and smooth at 120 Hz. There's tons of power from the Tab S8 Ultra Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. It also has a great 12MP ultra-wide camera on the front, making this an ideal device for video calls. In our review, we were very impressed with its four speakers too, plus its masses of storage, and its premium a euro, if fragile feeling a euro, design. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra then has it all. You can even buy a keyboard folio if you want to use it like a laptop. The size does make it less portable than some slates though, and it sure is expensive. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.